What is going on guys, Smooth Racing here back with a brand new video and today we have our F1 2015 driver predictions. These are updated ones because the last time we did it was the 21st of April 2014. It got over 1,500 views and I was really grateful for all the support on that video with so many comments and so many likes and just so much positive feedback and just really good hearing your thoughts. So be sure right now to go down into the comments and put your F1 2015 driver predictions but we'll be looking back at our predictions we made back in April and then changing a few of them to suit some of the um, contracts that have been signed and also some of the you know further speculation that denies some of my thoughts that I thought back in April. So we'll start off then with Red Bull that's definitely going to be the same between Sebastian Vettel and Daniel Ricciardo although for F1 2016 which I really want to make a video about um, that could definitely be changing you know Vettel was this person to be nurtured by Red Bull, you know, clearly favourited by Red Bull over any other driver that they've ever had. They really built the team around him, built the car around him, and there's just a really good vibe around him, you know, winning the four world driver championships. Major help from Red Bull to do that, but of course Vettel's a brilliant driver, but at the moment, you know, the current regulations meaning Ricardo's outperforming him. So I think um Vettel, if he does get outperformed by Ricardo in 2015, could definitely be moving teams to 2016. But anyway, that's the story for another video. Mercedes, um, quite similar, Nico Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton just blew up at the Belgium Grand Prix. So we could definitely be seeing um, them splitting up in 2016. But I think they will do one more year. But usually these inter-team rivalries can only last two years if they've really had each other's throats. Hamilton and Alonso back in 07 only lasted one year. Senna and Prost at McLaren I think lasted two years. So uh, definitely could see this happening just for two years. Maybe even a shock move. Um, but the question is, you know, where could Hamilton or where could Rosberg go? You know, definitely I think Vettel could go to Mercedes to replace Hamilton. Then again, you could just have the same problem with Rosberg and Vettel. You're always going to have that with two such fast drivers and, you know, quite controversial drivers in the past. Ferrari, I went with um, Hulkenberg and Raikkonen last time. But now I'm going to definitely change that to Raikkonen and Alonso, looking very likely that those two are going to be staying on for another year. I definitely can't see Alonso moving to McLaren. And um, Raikkonen's going to be staying at Ferrari, I can almost guarantee. At McLaren, um, last time I predicted Alonso and Kevin Magnussen, of course, that's changed now, Alonso. I've put in at Ferrari, Kevin Magnussen, um, Jensen Button. There's quite a fight for the McLaren seat, and they're really going to have to prove themselves. And it's going to be very, I think, the only thing that's going to keep Magnussen, that, you know, he's got um, shown this wonderful pace, especially in qualifying, and I think in the Belgian Grand Prix really helped him. He's really going to step up his game in the second half of the year. And I think that the fact that he's a McLaren driver could just be the edge that makes him stay on for another year. Jensen Button, I think, will definitely be staying on for the Honda era. It's just if McLaren want him to stay on, and I think they will, just for at least one more year and maybe retiring at the end of 2015, since he is the oldest driver on the grid. But of course, Grosjean really wants that seat, and you know I wouldn't be surprised at all if Grosjean got that seat. But I think he'll be staying at Lotus from the Sages Power, which is the next team we're going on to. Last time I predicted Grosjean and Maldonado, and that's definitely going to be keeping the same. Grosjean and Maldonado. Maldonado has been signed in Grosjean, I think, um, with the hope of Mercedes engines. I think if that deal goes through, he'll sign. If it doesn't, then um, he'll definitely be looking for a seat elsewhere. Um, definitely further up the grid with someone with a Mercedes engine. Um, Williams, Massa and Bottas. Definitely Bottas is staying. Massa, there's been a bit of speculation about that. I do, I do think he'll stay on for another year. He has got a contract for next year, so I can definitely see him fulfilling that. Although 2016, it will be a different story. Massa's had a lot of bad luck this year, but, you know, surely he must have some good luck sometime. Um, that should definitely be coming his way. I think Felipe and Asa waiting on the wings. Um, there's Jensen Button. There's loads of people after that William seat. Now it's so good. There was even talk of Fernando Alonso going there for 2015. But, you know, I, don't, I can't really see that happening yet. But maybe in the future. You never know with Formula 1. That's a lesson from this video. Force India. Last time I predicted um, Perez in the because Hulkenberg, I predicted, went to Ferrari. But now I'm going to change that to um, Hulkenberg and Sergio Perez. They've both done a really solid job. Perez is actually coming on really strong, and um, I think he's definitely improving as a driver and definitely trying to get a bit more consistent. He actually got the better of um, Nick Hulkenberg in the past two races, so definitely good signs from Perez that he might be starting to outperform Hulkenberg, which would be actually really impressive and a great turnaround from him. Sauber, this is one of the most... Um, Peter van der Gaard, Sir Geister Ropkin and, Simone, and Simona Del Silvestro, I think she's called. 
Um, the film eraser, who's done a really good job in IndyCar. Now come over. Is she ready for Formula 1? Well, the test proof she is. I'm not quite sure yet, but um, definitely I think a team like Sauber would be really good for her to start if she wants to progress up the grid. And it would just be really good for Formula 1. Think of the sponsors as well that um, Sauber would maintain and the, the, all the attention towards Formula 1, I think, would really pick up. And it's something, you know, that Formula 1 needs. But we have to remember that Sauber should sign her on, you know, true performance and not just because of agenda. Funny enough, sometimes that can actually give her an advantage when she's in Formula 1 because so many people would want it, um, you know, just as that record. But, you know, she's overcome a lot of sexism in motorsport to get here. You know, she went to America just because, um, you know, you don't have to pay as much money to get into motorsport there. It's definitely more about talent over in America, and hopefully that's what the Europeans can learn from it. But um, basically, Sauber, I'm going to go with Van der Gaard and Gutierrez. Van der Gaard, because he's been the test driver and he's got 15 million, I think, in backing, so I can definitely see him getting the seat. He was a test driver this year for a reason. He left Caterham um, for a reason to go and be the test driver at Sauber. I think Sauber car will be a lot better next year. But here's a quick theory. Um, Gutierrez didn't score any points this year, but he also didn't score any points in the first half of 2013. So maybe just a suggestion that the car is actually the same as last year's car in terms of performance. And Gutierrez is actually doing a really bad job. And Sutil is doing an average job with the car. Hulkenberg will be doing a superb job. I think that's pretty much the ranking. It goes Hulkenberg, superb job in 2013. Sutil, average job. You know, really bringing home the points. And I think he definitely deserves to drive over Gutierrez. He's shown that he's a lot faster than Gutierrez. And he's really picked up and consistent. I've been really impressed with him through Belgium and Hungary. And I think Sutil... You know, he's been got a lot of bad press. And, you know, like the spin in Belgium, and the sorry, spin in um, Germany wasn't his fault, which, you know, should have brought out the safety car. People don't realise, but that just wasn't his fault. But um, anyway, that's enough time talking about Sabah. Um, let's move on to Toros. I predicted Fiat and Sainz, so I did correctly predict that Vern wants down for another year. But, of course, we now know that Vern and Max are strapping. Sorry, Fiat and Max Verstappen will be um, racing for Toros in 2015. That's definitely another topic for another video. Is Max Verstappen ready? Um, definitely got a lot of thoughts on that, but I won't, be, won't bore you with um, them in this video. Move on to Marussia. And I have um, went with Chilton and Bianchi. But due to recent events, you know, Chilton nearly been dropped. I think it'll be Bianchi and Alexander Rossi. And Caterham, um, I predict Kobayashi and Franz. Well, maybe it's all about money with Caterham. But I think it will be Marcus Ericsson and Frines. And Frines, I think, will be really good. But, you know, Marcus Ericsson doesn't deserve a seat. But I do think he'll get one. And that leaves Kobayashi, you know, just without a seat. Because I'm not sure even what's going to happen with um, Lotterer. If he's actually going to race at Monza. And if Kobayashi does return or he doesn't, he could just eventually just never return. And that would be a really sad story. But I would do wonder if Cadron were just going to do this sort of renter driver for a race. Um, that would be quite interesting if they had a different driver every race, but I do think there is a limit, I think, um, of four drivers you can have in your team racing for you in a year, which is probably put in there for a team like Caterham. Um, Formula Haas isn't there until 2016, so make sure to catch my F1 driver's 2016 predictions, just for those very early ones. And um, Formula Rossa, I don't think, is going to happen um, this year definitely more likely for 2016 so I won't cover that but most likely if one of those two teams did come on um, you'd expect drivers like Vern to get a seat and um, just to confirm then let's just give a quick run down then Red Bull, Sebastian Vettel, Dan Ricciardo, Mercedes, Nico Rosberg, Lewis Hamilton, Ferrari, Kimi Reckonant, Fernando Alonso, McLaren, Button, Magnussen, Williams, Massa, Bottas, Lotus, Grosjean, Maldonado, Force India, Hulkenberg, Perez, Sauber, Van der Gaard, Gutierrez, Toro Rosso, Fiat and the Strappen, Caterham, Ericsson and Franz and Marussia, Bianchi and Rossi. So I've been Smooth Racing, then be sure to leave your F1 2015 driver predictions down in the comment section below. And I've been Smooth Racing, and I'll see you guys next time.